Day two of WonderCon, a very wet day two. Woke up this morning, I knew there was gonna be raining, but ooh, this is a lot rainier than I was hoping for. Uh, what I'm really hoping is, this sounds bad. I hope it kind of keeps some people away from the show. Um, maybe a little bit slower in the morning and maybe pick up more in the afternoon. Because today I'm planning on picking up a couple books. I think I finally decided on which books I'm gonna get. But I'll show you guys when we actually get to the convention. And I have to say the hardest part right now of what's going on is I'm very, very, give me a schedule, I stick to it, I like to hit my markers. I have no agenda or schedule here. I woke up on the dot, like at 7 a.m. this morning after being totally tired yesterday. I'm like, all right, I gotta start getting up, I gotta start getting ready, it opens at 10. Nah, why do I gotta, it's open from 10 to seven tonight. I take my time, I'll do what I want. Maybe even go have breakfast beforehand. Definitely gonna have breakfast beforehand, I'm hungry. But let's talk a little bit more inside. It's cold. You guys know from watching our past vlogs, the Sheraton at the Anaheim Park Hotel is by far my favorite hotel in the Disneyland property area. However, I just noticed my first thing, I'm like, ooh, that's not good, is it rained last night. This whole thing right here is wet. So it leaked in. I, I'm wearing my Crocs right now, but earlier I walked in and went, oh, barefoot. That's, that's kind of wet. So let's talk about the books I'm thinking about getting today. As y'all know, if you watched a previous video, I picked up a La Masa, which is the first appearance of Wolverine. It's Incredible Hulk 181 and 182, and the same thing, but it's a Spanish version released in 1979. I'm gonna do a whole video on this one because the more research I've done on it, the cooler this book seems to me. But I think it's a bit, it's a bit lonely. So I've seen a couple booths that are selling Hulk 180 and 181. I'm thinking about trying to strike a deal for a combo pack. And if that hits where I think it's gonna hit, that'll take about half of my comic budget, which means I have a little bit of money left to play over and try and find something else, like a third hitter. So I think that's gonna be my targets today. I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it should be fun. It's only drizzling outside. Do you think I need a jacket? Nah, I think we're just gonna fear <laughs> face this California weather. I don't know. Let's start heading out. A couple little changes for today. I put on my rain jacket because I started sprinkling pretty heavy again. Also, I think I lost my Mickey Nike three-quarter zip. It was in my backpack and now it's not and I can't find it in my room anywhere. I'm really hoping I left it at my friend Jeff's booth because that was the last place I had my bag open to put stuff in and out. Pretty sure I, I know I put it back in because it was at the very top. <sighs> Hopefully it's in my room, but I'm gonna get my umbrella out of the car. A little uh, rainier than I thought. I'm actually regretting the Crocs choice now because I already feel a little bit of wetness on the socks and there's some puddles ahead. Luckily I remember my umbrella. Oh man, I'm still a little bugged out that I can't find that three quarter zip anywhere. <sighs> this trip has not gone as planned. I'm actually kind of regretting the Crocs now. Maybe I'll go back up and switch to the shoes. Yeah, well, we're going to be inside. That'll be fine. Nope, we're going to switch to the shoes. And for those of you who don't know, I was once upon a time in life a sneakerhead. And when it's raining like this, your best friend is something like this. It's Crep Protect. And it makes it a little water resistant. Normally I do this outside because it stinks, but outside is rainy and I don't have an actual pal. Well, porch or patio, whatever you want to call it. That thing. All right, wait two minutes leaves to dry, and we're good to go. Where things like this make me laugh, it just occurred to me, it's pouring rain right now, and <laughs> I'm on my way to buy expensive pieces of paper. <laughs> oh, hopefully this doesn't end badly, like everything else has so far. <laughs> Even with me trying to take my sweet, sweet time, I'm still here right at open. Less than four minutes later, we're here. And we're off. Today's agenda, like I said, is to find a couple books, but also swing by Jeff's booth to see if I happen to leave my three quarters up there. That's gonna bother me all day long. So the original booth I wanted to go to to make a deal sold one of the books last night after I left. Sad face. Found another booth that had both the books, and they actually had a Turtles number one third printing like I already have. And they're asking a very reasonable 500 for it. I do feel a little bad with the rain and everything. Artist Alley is kind of sparse. Like the fact I'm able to walk through it like this just kind of means that it's not that busy in here yet. Granted, it just opened a little while ago and it is raining, but you are going to see a lot of folks just not want to come out in the rain. I'd be lying if I said I didn't do it in the past. I'm kind of hoping that's good for me that a lot of folks aren't here to buy comics. So, all right, let's go check again. Walk around our area and see what's up. 
break I'm taking a little break from the comic book area because I haven't really seen anything that I want and stuff that I do want is a little pricey. Um, gonna get a book for my friend as long as they take card. Here's the other catch. My camera keeps cutting out. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go back and switch it out. I'm starting to get frustrated. There's way more than just comic books here. But they're notorious. It's a big thing too for these conditions. I'm gonna head back to the hotel for the first break. I picked up a book for my buddy and I'll show you guys when we get back there. Um, camera hasn't been working too well. I lost my Mickey hoodie. It's still raining and drizzly. I can't find any books that I want to purchase at the moment. I'm going to take a little break, collect my thoughts, and recoup. And sorry I haven't recorded a whole lot so far today, but my camera has been choosing when it's working. So, probably going to get the other camera when we get back. Right, worst cosplay ever. Nothing like seeing Spider-Man with his mask over his nose just puffing on a cigarette. <laughs> Back at the hotel. I told you guys I'd give you a closer look, and there it is. Oop, reflection. Turtles, number one. It's a third printing. You can tell from the lighter pink on the front, but the black is really vibe, like really dark on here, which is amazing for these books. And on the back as well, just a couple minor ticks, slight water stain up in the right corner. But this is a great pickup. I'm not sure what Eric's planning on doing with it over there at the Presidio Comics, but make sure you follow them to find out for sure, because this could be yours, maybe. Maybe I'll keep it. No, no, it's for him. It's for him. It's for him. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a little break, maybe grab some lunch, then we're going to head back to the convention. Really lackluster day so far. Let me do a little recap with you again. I cannot find my three-quarter zip anywhere, which is my favorite thing. It's got to be here. There's no way I could have lost it that way. I originally started wearing Crocs over there. It's raining. Bad idea. Um, and the two books I went over there I talked about earlier in the video to try and negotiate are both gone. Not sure if I'm walking away with anything from the show. Bummer. Well, other than the book I got, watch the last video, you'll see. <sighs> that one still hurts. Heading back to the show. I haven't had lunch yet, but I had a hot dog about two hours ago. And I still haven't bought really a book for me that I came here for. The only thing so far is the La Masa number one. Well, 181, 182 Hulk. <sighs> I still have a day and a half to go. I was just talking to my wife. I've lost my favorite pullover. I dropped that book and broke it. I'm kind of halfway tempted to go home early. But no, I'm here for the weekend. You never know what's gonna happen till the last day. Let's go back and, well, try to make it as great as we can. Back to the show. Well, it was fun. I actually ran to Swaggle Haas from the Swaggle Haas YouTube channel where he talks about reviews and goes over comics and the hobby. Um, really nice guy. I bought another copy of his book. I actually ordered one on Kickstarter. And hopefully I'll run some a little later. We were talking and maybe we'll chat about comics when I find him on the floor. I just didn't want to take time away while he was at the booth hanging out. I finally picked up my big boy book from right over here. In fact, she'll get their name so I can shout them out on the show. Well, I finally bought my big boy from the show over here, VFV Comics. I'll show you guys a little bit later. It'll be a surprise. We've got some more stuff to look at. It actually made me feel kind of cool. It's the first time in my life I ever actually felt cool. Uh, we were chatting about the books we like and every book they told me he liked. I had a fun story of the people that either created it or worked on it because I've been doing this a long time and I've been fortunate enough to meet and know a lot of people. Ah, well, I feel good. I finally got that off my chest. And I think I've got a really good grade copy too of this book. I can't wait to show it to y'all later. These are the crowds we were talking about earlier. They're finally making their way here to the show. Lots of folks. Ooh, a comic booth. This booth had lots of books that right on my wheelhouse, just not the pricing I'd like to see on them for the grades. High grades, but still high pricing. The Todd Father himself, Todd McFarlane. Well, I picked up one of my girl books. Literally almost ran into Todd McFarlane. That's why that video was so, like, he's in the background. I was like, oh, excuse me. Hey, that's Todd McFarlane. <laughs> um, I have fortunately met him before. It's never on video. I've met him in the past several times. And his thing, one of the books I almost bought was a Spider-Man 300 Raw. How crazy would that have been? Like, hey, I'm so sorry. Hey, weird thing. I just bought a grail book. And you happen to be here. It sounds like fate. But that's not the case. Uh, gonna go get some food and we'll see where we go from there. Funny part is I'm probably the only one with an actual history degree in that group. <laughs> do I try one of the food trucks or do I go get food afterwards? You see this? Don't do this. I guess I just don't see the point of that. Let's come to this convention where people of a like-minded nature are coming to have fun and relax 
and we're gonna come and push our opinions on people. Not cool. Let's eat some food and gross. You know, while having lunch, I just kind of had an epiphany as I'm heading back to the convention. I was ready to go home earlier. Just having a bad day, bad weekend. Then I realized the whole reason I'm here is because of my anxiety and everything else has been off the charts lately, really. Nice mental health break. Picking up that book finally for myself, the one that I wanted, I, okay, this is, this is gonna work. That pulled away a lot of that anxiety. I'm feeling okay now. For the most part, I'm feeling okay. I still miss my family. I'll be back there in a couple days. Well, let's head back to the convention. Well, maybe we'll stop at the hotel first and drop off the book we just got. But right now, just heading back. As we walk back to the convention, I'm gonna go on the limb and say, I actually like WonderCon better than the San Diego Comic-Con. I always go there and just basically uh, hurry up and wait. Here, I've actually gotten able to do stuff, getting anything I wanna see, and find books that are more reasonably priced. Now the crowds are here. I feel like Scarlett Johansson with the Incredible Hulk. The sun's starting to get real low. Now that's dedication and bravery. I would never do that in this crowd, but God bless. She's a Scarlet Witch, so she got the magic. Look, I ran into some Tucson people here, and they got stuff, really cool stuff. I bought some of the stuff. So I still haven't found Steve Englehart, even though I've had several people tell me now, oh yeah, I saw his booth, he had stuff set up. But I'm starting to think this is kind of like the uh, Sinbad Genie movie. Everybody has a memory of it, but it doesn't exist. Ah well, I'm still enjoying myself. Uh, that was Henry, he actually is from Tucson as well. Uh, we actually probably, st he started writing comics right before I did, but we started doing our own things around the same time, which is kind of cool. I didn't know he was here, I just ran into him at a table. Oh, this is Henry's jam right here. Brickbuilds.com. These are pretty phenomenal. <laughs> I just caught a guy checking his own swole and we locked eyes and it became awkward. He was looking down at himself and he saw me went... <laughs> he was behind the booth. It was, it was really funny. It's when I was looking at the Legos. That was really hilarious. The show has about three hours left for the evening, but I think I'm ready to call it a day. I'm kind of burned out. But today was actually a good day. A lot better than the last couple, I'll tell you that much. I just wish I hadn't lost my three-quarter zip. Sorry, last time I'll mention it. Okay, I'm not one for cosplay, but that's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Starting to get a little extra crowded for me. And tomorrow's the last day, so we'll probably see the better pricing there. I still want to pick up one more book at least while I'm here. I just have no idea what. Seriously, all the respect in the world. And it's raining again, but the nice thing about being where we're at, I only have to walk through it for like maybe five seconds. And if I change my mind, I can come back to the convention in less than 10 minutes. And we're back. A lot of time has actually passed for me, but not so much for you. It's actually been about six hours since we left off in that last clip that you saw. I came back to the hotel room and fell asleep for a little while, then I made my way to downtown Disney to look at some souvenirs for my kids. But I want to show you the books I picked up again. Let's start off with the one I picked up from my friend Eric. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one third printing. I just wanted to show you guys again, because I can't believe how perfectly like black the like, sidebars are. And then I think the guy was kind of impressed because I saw it was a third printing from afar just because I saw the type of pink that they use in there instead of the traditional red that you saw with the first and second printing, which are almost discernible from each other. This one, I can tell it's a third printing from a far away. I actually have the same one, except mine has a streak down the middle and that was from the printer it looked like. This is a beautiful copy and I hope Eric really likes it. Well, until he pays me, it's mine. No, I'm kidding. It's a good book though. I can't wait to see what he does with it. Um, the other book, I, well, one of the two books I picked up today uh, was from Henry, who you saw earlier. He's a fellow Tucson guy. I ran to him, didn't know he was at the show. Ironically, as I was talking to him, I got a text from Eric, who, who I bought that book for, saying, hey, look who else is at the convention, because I guess he posted online. Um, I picked up this book that he wrote. Uh, it's Dolores Huerta, if you don't know who she is. She was part of the uh, union like organizers for like the farm workers and everything, her and Cesar Chavez. Uh, I think it's really cool Henry does write a lot of books on like um, La Raza, like, you know, getting equal rights and union established for people that worked in the farms. A really important person and a pretty important book. So I'll put the information for these down below. And probably the one that you guys were really, really here to see. What book did I finally get myself? A little bit of a background on this book. This is now the third time that I've owned it. <laughs> and each time I've had to pay up for it to get it back. Uh, to put it in a way that maybe it'll help you understand a little bit better, it's my 68 Shelby Mustang that you saw in Gone in 60 Seconds. That's the one that always either eluded me or I had to get rid of for whatever reason. So again, third time I bought it, 
probably the last time. I didn't, we we're gonna notice the theme. Uh, the book that I bought, that I dropped, that I was still interested in. This goes along with that. Incredible Hulk 180. And the reason I like this book so much and I decided to go with it again is I argue it is 100% the first appearance of Wolverine. I know 181 gets all the credit because it's the great cover he's in the entire book. But my man's on the last panel and this book is like, I'm the Wolverine. I think this should be considered the first appearance. It's, it's just not as sexy as the 181, which I fully admit. Although I would argue that my Lamasa one is way sexier now. But yeah, this is my big boy book I picked up today. Um, turned out the guy I bought it from, they were asking, and I think it's, it's got one collar break here where it folded over. I think if I were to get this graded right now, just looking at it when I opened it up and looked inside, it's got the Marvel value stamp with Cyclops on everything. It's, I think it's a easy four and a half to five candidate with nothing else, no pressing, no nothing, four and a half to five candidate. Um, their asking price on it was five fifty. I did get it for four ninety, and that's because we found out we were really into the same books. We're both hardcore Invincible fans, and we shared some shared some war stories of comic book stuff with each other. But yeah, this is my big boy purchase so far. Uh, there's a couple other books I'm gonna look at tomorrow on the final day, but this was one of the ones on my list. So I'm extremely happy, and I'm glad I picked it up, especially who I picked it up from. Um, so the turtle smoke I picked up from a guy named Danny. He doesn't have a shop or anything. This is, his, it's a hobby for him and he loves it. It's a passion right now. He's selling books to try and like make some, make up some money for other stuff, but he's a tutor. He, he work, tutors kids in math. Like he's just a really good dude. And I really enjoyed our conversation. I can't remember the name of the guy I bought this one from. I want to say it was Nick. I totally blanked. I'm pretty sure it was Nick. Um, he was over at the, uh, I think it was the VFV uh, comic book. I look back in the video. I mentioned them. I shouted them out when I, after I bought the book. He was super cool, really invincible, super nice guy. In fact, I want to go back to the booth tomorrow and see what else they have because when I buy books at shows like this, it's not just about buying the books I want. I look for the best deals, and I also want to buy from people that I enjoy talking to because sometimes you're not buying the book, you're buying it from the person, if that makes any sense. And I really enjoyed both the guys I bought books from today. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's show. It started off me being really kind of sad and not really wanting to stick around, wanting to go home, but we ended it on a truly positive note. Like, today was a good convention day, and I look forward to having another one tomorrow, the last day of WonderCon 2024. So, guys, thanks for taking another ride with us. Let's take another ride again soon. This has been a comic book edition, WonderCon Anaheim. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you next time.